and welcome to <clears throat> me clearing my throat. Now, actually, we're going to be playing Shadow Era, and I just I wanted to start from there so you could see my awesome knee shaven background that I put up, just because I'm a hardcore Shadow Era player. Um, I'm actually whatever. I, I don't know. I've got this one video, and it's doing whatever. And I'm having trouble creating it. Like, the editor doesn't want to export it. And it doesn't want to upload it to YouTube. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm having issues. Okay. I have a Gravebone deck. Let's look at my deck really quick. This is, like, the third time I've done the second video because I keep messing up. Okay. Here is just the cards. In the description should be a whatever of the cards. However, just in case you wanted to like see what they were, there they are. Done that. This is the third time I'm doing that. Okay, challenge. Now, I've played Amber twice and lost twice because it's hard to beat Amber with the Mage deck. Or at least, I mean, it's impossible with the Gravebone deck. That's not true, but it's really difficult. And now I'm rated 305, which is terrible. I started at 310. That's okay, though. Okay, whatever. Okay, did you see that? So they changed it. It was really confusing at the beginning. I didn't know how to bring up the menu. You have to click over here. But you can still click here to make it go away. Whatever. Let's hope it's I can win this game. Okay, Lance. Lance, Lance is pretty even. Okay, let's... And let's talk about my cards. Okay, I have two Kairoses. I really don't need to. Sacrificing him. Usually, um, I like to sacrifice doubles of a card. If I have one at the beginning. The only exception to that would probably be Fireball. Because they're very helpful. They're more helpful than... It's like the only... I, I don't sacrifice Fireballs very often. Just because... I think... You might need to more now that Dark Prophecies has been released because there's more higher than four health allies. But there's still a ton. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I wanted to talk about what I do, why I do it, and things like that. Okay, I'm getting rid of Lightning Strike because... Well... I don't want to sacrifice this Keros because I just sacrificed one. But I, yeah, we're just going to get rid of Lightning Strike. We're going to play Tome of Knowledge. And uh, that sounds good. Lightning Strike, it's kind of, it's helpful sometimes. It's not helpful other times. And Lance does, there's a, the, he does have cards that have stealth. And R. Okay, so I'm going to sacrifice this consuming fear just because he hasn't put up an ally yet. And I have fireball, I guess. I don't know. It's I don't, I don't want to sacrifice the Karos and the Molten Destroyer. Why? I don't know. It's my brain is telling me do not sacrifice those cards. I'm like, okay, I won't. But yeah, so things. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we can upload some of these videos that I'm recording. But uh, so I am curious if he's going to use his. He is. So basically, next turn, I can already tell you, regardless of what, what card I draw, I'm going to be using the fireball on Alden and bringing back the whatever. Of course, it's a supernova. I don't like sacrificing supernovas because so many times have the I'm sacrificing this Karos. I mean, I don't have to sacrifice a card, but you really need to get to five with the Gravebone deck. That by turn five, you need to have five resources. I mean, I think, in my opinion. You need to. It just it's a necessity. Okay, and I brought her back. She's five four now. I feel like I have the advantage, even though he has tons more cards than I do. 
Um, but hopefully I'll be able to use the Tome of Knowledge next turn. Yeah, the I don't know how many times I've sacrificed a supernova early and then I need it right after I sacrifice it. I just, you don't know where the game is going to turn. Okay, really, 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 really. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just going to draw a card. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice the supernova. Even Regardless of what I just said, I'm going to draw a card and hope it is a three. It's not. That's okay, though. And you might be thinking, why don't you sacrifice and put up the destroyer? Because you want to have cards. You, you don't want to run out of cards. That's like the worst thing that could happen in this game. Um, if you have to take a turn to get cards, that's helpful. Um, but... Yeah, that's why. This is, see, I don't need the supernova, and I'm assuming that I will be able, you know, and I got this consuming fear. Okay, so I'm sacrificing Tome of Knowledge. I don't think that's, like, that's pretty much the move there. The, um, I'm going to bring out Karos, but I got this consuming fear. So if he does put out an ally, I can play this, um, and I do have an ally up. So, I think that's why I felt comfortable sacrificing the supernova there. But, yeah, I mean, because sometimes I just, you know, you get behind on allies, and it's really helpful, especially with the Gravebone deck, the supernovas, because you can do supernova and then bring the ally out of the graveyard. So, it's like, you clear the board, plus you get to put an ally back on the thing. It's very helpful. But it would be interesting to see who he attacks here. I would be... I wonder if he's going to kill the, the whatever one. Or he's going to use that. That was a really good move. It sucks, but what am I going to do? I need more cards. Now, what I really need is a lightning strike, but... Uh, we're going to sacrifice. Yeah, this is my cost two card, if you didn't know. The reason I like this card is because I have sacrificial lands. And he goes well with sacrificial lands because of his ability. Uh, but I'm just going to sacrifice him. And that way I have... I mean, if you're wondering why, like, why not just keep it? It's so I can draw a card, see what I get. But I can still play a Molten Destroyer. Which is what I want to do. I was debating whether just using that, but um, it's it's weird. Grave bone. You're not too concerned with just throwing an ally out there and it dying because I hate that card. Stop the. I know. You might be wondering, how did you get to 305 with the Gravebone deck? It's tough. It's been tough, I will say. Um, but I've been doing it. And I was curious if he's going to... So I figured he was going to do that. But he's going to kill it with the Priest. I was wondering if he was going to just kill it or if he was going to do whatever. Attack my hero. But he did that. And a Sacrificial Lamb, which really isn't helpful here. But what I'm going to do... As I'm going to put this guy up. And I'm going to bring back the Molten Destroyer. And then I'm going to... To... Do nothing. I don't really see a point of... I was going to put this Consuming Fear on this guy. But I don't have an artifact. And he only has one attack. No. I don't I don't know why I was going to do that. It seems like pointless. I could do it. No. Let's just end my turn. Plus I don't want to like. I need to have cards. Yeah, geez, he just took away my draw. Which is frustrating. I will say that the Gravebone deck. I'm always struggling for to get cards. And to have a draw. Always. 
And it's like, why don't you put more? Because I only have three tomes of knowledge and three sacrificial lambs. I mean, that should be good, though. But no, it's not. It's not good enough. Ever. Maybe it's probably just how I play or something. I don't know. But yeah. Maybe no. I'm glad I didn't use the consuming fear for the fact that I can put it on as Aeon. Ion. No, it's probably Aeon. But then we are going to do that. So he's basically worthless now. I mean he has protector and a lot of health, but and we're going to put up the ally. And we are going to attack his hero. Because I can't take Aeon. Or what? Right? Yeah, Aeon. Stormcaller. Can't attack the Stormcaller because he needs to attack and stuff. And yeah. I really. I know. The. Sacrificial lamb is good with Gravebone if you get the sacrificial lamb early. Because if you don't, then you get stuck in a situation like this where what do I do? I can't, like, should I use it on the whatever card I have? Which I will, if, if he doesn't die, I will attack with him and then use sacrificial lamb. I need the cards. But should I just do that in the same turn? I don't know why. Okay, and I have to go over here and open the door for my cat who wants out. Yeah. Because she was sleeping in my room and she wanted out. And I shut the door because I'm talking and there are other people here. But, um, do you play a card? I, you, uh, Raven, whatever. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what card we get. It'll be interesting. Uh, that card. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do, I suppose. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What we're going to do... Is... Attack the hero with him. And we're going to use Sacrificial Lamb. We're going to see what cards we get. Those cards. Okay. Oh, and he gets a card. Okay, let me think. What do you want to do? If I put that Tome of Knowledge up, he's going to take it. So I can't do that. Man. I'm really in like a, I know, and it's like time's running out. I don't even know. I just have to play cards. I don't. I. Okay. You know, actually, okay, so I'm thinking. He, see, I didn't think he had as much health. Whatever. He's got seven health. I got a lightning strike. All I need is a if I get a fireball, I can win this turn. If I draw a fireball. Or a supernova, I can win in two turns. And I have plenty of allies to keep him frustrated like he can't just attack my hero and somehow win the next turn i don't think well if he does actually okay hold on if he doesn't do something about my allies right 
Oh, but he's probably going to, he probably has a assassination for the Molten Destroyer. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do. I don't know what cards he I feel like he would have just already done that. And I feel like he wouldn't have done that. Oh, well, that makes sense. And then he's going to use the whatever, right? No. No. No, just three. Well, I win. Barely, just barely. It's, you know, there's a Gravebone deck. It's funny. It's not... You, it's not, I wouldn't call it a rush deck, but you really do, like, you have to win early. There's not a lot of games that, like, I just have this huge upper hand. It's like, I win like this. But I win enough that I'm rated, like, 300 and whatever. I think that's good, right? There it goes. Done. I think he knew he was in trouble. Let's see what my rating is. 307 and you know i was thinking the next game okay so you can leave now if you don't care about my personal life but it's not my personal life it's still about the game but uh i was gonna look at you look at my status and you go i'm rated 307 and i got stuff you know uh, i've <laughs> I, I had like so many shadow crystals and i just spent them all in the packs yeah let's talk about that for a second all in the packs. If you don't know, there's these legendary cards. They're not listed, but they're two legendary cards. One for humans and one for shadows. And I was reading most people when they bought maybe around 15 packs were getting at least one of these cards. I bought, I had 4,000 crystals because I bought, I pre-ordered the first set. So I got like a ton from that. I had 4,000 crystals. And so I bought probably around 35 decks or packs and i didn't get a single one <laughs> 35 that's a lot right 35 packs and i'm like oh i opened my first pack and i got a foil now i understand the people like me who didn't get one are probably like excited and writing in the forums but i mean what are the odds for getting one of these things like one in what like one in how many packs because i opened 35 and i did not get one I don't know. It's frustrating. Not that you even put it in a deck because you need like at least two for it to be viable in a deck, but whatever. But status. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Meltdown. I'm rated 90. And so the next game I think is going to be a Meltdown game because I only have 17 hours left and I have a lot of wins. So I, I just want to spend the rest of this gold on Meltdown. Because I want to try to win a lot of money. Or gold. Or... Yeah, I mean, like, I think... I think this number is 11 wins, which would be 330. Because you get 30 for a win, right? Yeah. So, um, 11 wins, 2 losses, which would bring it up to 350. And then a tie, which would be 365. I think that's my record. Because I've been winning a lot of Meltdown games. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Next game will be Meltdown. Uh, just change it up. But uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoy this. If you don't like me talking and learning about this awesome game, then, well, why did you watch this? Why are you at this point in the video? <laughs> but anyway, I will see you.